What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World. So EA Sports has released the out of position master in Calvin Johnson and you got some Ghost of Madden present, one of them being Patrick Mahomes who we already have on the squad. So pretty much what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and break down everything. I don't know why that graphic is still there because Richard Sherman uh, should no longer be in packs, but okay. Okay. All right. So anyway, let's go over here. Let's check out the program real quick. We're going to go over to the, uh, the Ghost of Madden, the present. All right, we're going to take a look at some of the prices and stuff that's going on. I do want to point out, right, these prices, if you guys wanted to use these to get, like, um, for whatever reason, if you wanted to get the large presents, you could accumulate a decent amount of that and just go with that, all right? Uh, for some, Why is Patrick Mahomes this cheap, though? Patrick Mahomes, 348 bro, 338 Like, dog, I spent 400 on him. Like, this is crazy. But anyway, with the prices of all of these, uh, of the way that these cards are going, you could easily go ahead and grab these. I think it's like 7,000 kindling or something. So you could then generate more to get yourself some more presents if you wanted to do it like that. I don't know exactly why 94s are going for that price. Uh, maybe because everybody's pulling them and EA doesn't care. But we're just going to take a quick look at Todd Gurley to kind of start off. This guy's card is very, very lackluster. It's nothing about this card that I like. Um... Eric Dickerson is just killing the field right now. Like the NFL 100 is just killing the field. But look, guys, if your team is just starting off, you can use this card and be very, very, you know, well off because you're going to get some broken tackles. You're going to get some glitchy plays out of it because it's Todd Gurley. They're going to make it, you know, so it works out for you. But depending on how long you've been playing, it may not be appealing to you. But these prices should be. Okay, these prices are very, very good. Uh, Van Der Esch, you know, the Flying Dutchman, he hasn't been really playing well this year. He and Jalen Smith, I don't know what's going on with them, but um, you can go ahead and see that a lot of these cards that are being released, um, you know, they're decent. Like, this guy's a right outside linebacker, so you can use him inside at uh, DN, but his numbers are really, really bad for a 94. I don't really see how they calculated a 94 when you look at the numbers that are on the card. Um, it looks like that might be one of the reasons why people are very upset and just getting rid of the cards immediately because none of the numbers add up. But the namesake, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan and you want to have him on your squad, it may work out for you. So you got you guys can go ahead and jump on that if you want to do that as well. So you got Leighton Van Der Esch, you got Todd Gurley, um, you got Mahomes who is selling for like record low prices, and then you got J.J. Watt, okay? Now, this guy's a total trash can, but he's the master of the set. So you could actually, I don't know, do you get the cards back as Nat? We can go ahead and check that out in a second, but it's no way I'm putting a 77 speed uh, li uh, lineman on my team. You know what I'm saying? When a baby can out run him you know what I'm saying? a newborn that just came out can outrun this guy so i'm not putting this guy on the squad but let's go check out um we're gonna go check out the out of position uh players in a second but i just want to make sure before we continue to go on uh with the sets that you do get something back out of that set because there were uh some people saying that in other sets you didn't get some cards back as nat so let's go ahead and check this out okay the required okay yeah you get the required players as nat okay so that's good so you do get it back so you can spend whatever it is the 200 you know 400 600 whatever get them back as nat and then do whatever you want that probably would have been an ideal situation for me to to get that guy sell him back and then you know go ahead and see what else was going on but what i did was i went after getting the uh, collectibles for um calvin johnson because like we predicted they weren't going to give us a Calvin Johnson wide receiver card and a Randy Moss card on the same day because that would make no sense. Like, what are you going to do? You know, I, I kind of like that they would give us that kind of option, but many of us would not know what to do with our hands. Like, yo, hold on. Both of those guys at the same time? Like, what is this even about? Um, so with the way that it is right now, I actually purchased um, the Mike Evans and I purchased the Patrick Card, both of them for about 200 k So it roughly cost me about 400 So we can go ahead and we can discuss what's going on uh, with this actual card, right? And uh, kind of get down to the nitty gritty of what's happening. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and trade these guys in real quick. And uh, we're going to get the, we're going to get the Calvin Johnson. Now, remember what I told you, this guy, okay, where is he? What bro? We completed the set. Where is he? Bro, did we just put what? We just put him in the set and didn't get him? Yo, EA, bruh. Okay. Yo, bro. Where, where, where's, where is it? Did they just take our cards and not give us Calvin Johnson or like what exactly is going on? <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. Did EA just glitch me out of Calvin Johnson? I don't. Where is he, bro? Did we get him or not? Nah? I don't. I don't see him anywhere. Where is he? Calvin? Calvin, are you there? Calling Calvin. All right. So pretty much we just put those uh 
we just gave away two cards to EA Sports, and um, that's pretty much it. Let me hold on. Wait a minute. Did we actually just do that? Let me let me make sure that that just actually happened. Hold on. Um, we got we got. Hold on. Where's the ninety threes? Maybe maybe it just didn't take it. No, nah, they took it. We don't have them, bro. They, they done took my cards, bro. EA Sports, bro. They, they just hit it with the hit us with the Molly Wop. All right, cool. All right, so look, we're gonna figure all that stuff out. I'm pretty sure that you know EA Sports is gonna take care of that. Um, you know, once I contact them immediately and figure out what's going on with that. If any of you guys have used that set and did not receive a Calvin Johnson, please leave it in the comments as well. I'm not really worried about it because I know that uh, pretty much they're gonna have to fix it immediately. Um, so we'll worry about that later. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna back out completely out of Mutt and see if that fixes it. For those of you guys that may be wondering like, yo, I, I did the same thing, what happened? Um, let me back all the way out of Mutt and then I'll come back in there and see if it's there. If it's not there, I'll just continue to show you guys, you know, pretty much what's going on. And then, uh, you know, I'll contact EA Sports and then we'll figure out where my stuff is and then we'll go from there. Not a big deal. Pretty sure they'll fix that up for us uh, with no issues. All right, what, what is all this? Bro, can you, what is what is going on right now? So they, really okay, they didn't give it back to us. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go, um, first of all, let me go ahead and we're gonna actually save that clip so we can have proof that it happened. So when we said it, when we contact EA Sports, guys, always have proof of stuff like that because if you don't, they'll act like they don't know what's going on. Like, yo, what? No, you didn't do it. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yo, bro, okay. Yeah, let's go over here and um, take a look at the out of position players now that we have been um, completely robbed by EA Sports and we are going to check out what's going on with Calvin Johnson. And remember what I told you guys, right? You see, we're gonna make back the 400K, but I just wanna show you guys what's going on with him. With his numbers, his 87 hit power, whatever, he can't get Enforcer, all right? Now, let me just point out a couple things about what's going on. I told you guys it would be useless to get him because I use a Derwin James right now, and Derwin James at this point is very, very, you know, he's fine. I have no issues with him. Um, he has Enforcer, he comes out, he makes big hits, he makes plays. Now, with Calvin Johnson, right, the 95, he'll go to a 95 with the power up, and then he's gonna get 97 plus with the new John Madden coach collectible. If you guys are up to date, he'll go to 98 zone. But the bigger thing about it is all of that stuff doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? Because he won't be able to, to generate the hits that you need out of the safety position. So it's not like older Maddens where people come out and they're often passing the ball and you gotta have a guy that, you know, Calvin out there. You don't need Calvin. You know, as far as, you know, defensively, as far as that goes, that's why his price is so low right now. Um, typically what's happening is you can't, um, you can't really do anything with him. You could, like I said, even if you user him, you, you know, you could go for a hit stick with the 87 hit power, but that enforcer is a big deal when you're playing against all these Eric Dickerson's and all these other, you know, cards that are coming out, uh, Chris Johnson. You need to hit stick players very, very hard to make sure that at some point they're gonna fumble the ball. These guys can generate fumbles, but generally it won't happen uh, the way that it should. So you definitely need to go ahead and check that out and make sure that you're doing the right thing with this. Uh, I would not recommend them, like I told you guys. If it's no enforcer, it's a no for me, dog. Like straight up, you know, what, what was that show? I forgot what it, what, what, what was that? Um, uh, Idols, American Idols, what, what was it? I don't remember, I don't remember what it was. What was that show with Randy? I don't know what it was, American Idol? Well, he's like, it's a no for me, dog. Like, this dude right here, I don't know what we're gonna do with him, but he's useless at this point. Now, if once EA decides to give me my card, I don't know what they quick sell for. I wanted to also check that as well to see what was going on with it. But realistically, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever he's doing, um, it, it won't, it's not gonna help us out. Uh, as far as, the, oh, there it goes. Oh, we get the pack. The cabin, oh, he's a pack. I didn't know that they gave it to us in the pack. All right, so that makes sense. All right, so we could actually open it up. So EA didn't jip us. All right, cool. All right, um, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, because they give us the two things. Okay, they give us the power up too, which is like very, very cheap as well. So what is a quick sell for? Okay, so it's 10,000 kindling. All right, so that's two gifts. Well, almost three, because it's four, four, and then we have three, so we could actually get four gifts. See, that's something else that we can look at right now. Do we go get more presents? the large presence because that might be something that he's useful for um, as far as uh, the way that that goes. We could probably do that instead of getting the coins back right now, but you gotta remember, we gotta go after Randy Moss later, so we're really playing around with fire because we're gonna be under a mill. We're gonna have to go start raid selling some other cards and seeing what's good. Um, 
in order to see what Randy Moss is about. Because uh, more than likely, his price is going to be crazy. Uh, look, we're looking at at least like two mil or something like that, uh, roughly. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be a situation we're going to have to watch. Um, is it a smart time right now to get kindling or do we wait uh, as we get closer to Christmas Day and see what the large presents are? Because if, if these if these prices are like that now, the large presents might be kind of wild in price. We got to actually reevaluate some of the stuff that's going on because Patrick Mahomes is selling for like three and change. That's crazy. But then again, it's not because who really passes? Nobody really passes the ball. So that makes sense. But we are sitting on a decent amount. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we could actually take the Patrick Mahomes out of that, right? And sell him now and see what we could get for him. Don't we have a Patrick Mahomes in it? Yeah, we do. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, come here. We can go sell you right now. I just realized that that's why we were holding on to those packs. All right, so you're going to get sold, but we don't need you no more. What's this one? We got anything in here that we could sell? That's why I held on to those packs, by the way, guys, because I knew um, things like this would be going on. And they didn't release a Stephon Gilmore, which is kind of messed up, but we'll get him anyway because he's probably going to be a card that people are going to be looking to buy. So we'll grab him. I'm pretty sure they're going to give him a card uh, sooner or later. And we're sitting on like almost 570K right there uh, worth of packs. So um, we have some decisions to make, but I don't think that you should mess around with Calvin right now, because if you do, that's going to really cost you guys. And, you know, I really don't know how to say this, bro. But if you go with Calvin, you're going to be taking a big major L, dog. Like, it's going to be major L. All right, 28, that's all? Yeah, every, everything is going crazy. The market is completely crashed, bro. You ain't going to be able to do anything. Wow, everything is, like, really, really messed up. But, again, this is the opportunity for a lot of my newer players um, to go ahead and start sniping stuff. If you're, like, a no-money-spent player, you need to be all over this right now. Because the market is a total joke. It is absolutely ridiculous. These prices are insane. So go out there and start getting some stuff. But as far as Calvin goes, we have to decide. What are we doing with him, man? Chat. Bro, chat. Write it in the comments. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we live on Twitch, what are we doing with this guy? Because realistically, we could take the 400K. We could have the other 500 and be at 1.3. Right? And just focus on the fact that Randy Moss is coming later. Or we could hold on to him. Um, and see what happens if the price goes up. Maybe they do something with kindling and the price goes up. Because you know they like to do that, like manipulate the market. And then they'll put something out to where the kindling means a lot more. And then we get rid of him. It just seems weird that he's that cheap for a 95 overall. I don't know. Maybe EA is playing tricks on our brains. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But either way, people are not stupid. Randy Moss is going to still be Randy Moss type price. So we have to figure out how we're going to have the coins for that. But as far as everything else goes... Um, most of the ghosts are not suitable for me other than the Patrick Mahomes who I already have and he's upgraded to the max um, Escape artist dashing dead eye all that good stuff is on him um, Vander Esch I have no interest Todd Gurley I have no interest in and JJ Watt absolutely zero interest in so as far as everything else goes We have to wait to see what else they release coming Monday. I have a feeling that we might be getting a Bo Jackson uh, that could be what that whole situation is so some way or another, EA Sports is going to get some coins out of me, bro. And uh, we got to figure it out uh, going forward. But ultimately, let me know what you're taking right now from this. Should we go with the presents and start snagging presents for those other cards? And then just say, you know what, maybe they'll give us some good players and see how that works out. Or do we just sell it and accumulate coins? Because we're going to have to make a decision. I got to think about this. I don't want to sell them yet just because I don't know exactly. Like, we're going to have enough to get about three large presents do we wait until christmas day to eat crazy or do we sell it now and just go after randy moss tonight we're gonna talk about it soon i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day one love y'all